Welcome to this tutorial on the use of the IEA's IDB Analyzer. The purpose of this tutorial is to show you how to download, install, and start the IEA's IDB Analyzer, the main functionality features of the IDB Analyzer, the Merge module, and the Analysis module, and to discuss some additional considerations of working with large-scale assessment data. The IDB Analyzer is a standalone application that creates SAS and SPSS syntax to merge and conduct analysis with large scale assessment data. Currently, the IDB Analyzer is compatible with data from all IEA studies, such as TIMS, TIMS Advanced, PEARLS, Renal Literacy Study, Civics, ICCS. It's also compatible with OECD studies, such as TALIS, PISA, and PIAC, as well as additional studies such as ALS and IELTS. A full listing of all compatible studies can be found in the help manual of the IDB Analyzer. To follow along this tutorial, you will need the following. A computer running one of the latest versions of Microsoft Windows. This can be a PC or Apple machine running a Windows emulator. Access to the internet to download the latest version of the IDB Analyzer and one of the latest versions of SAS or SPSS for Windows. The code created by the IDB Analyzer is compatible with SPSS as far back as version 16. If you plan to run logistic regression, you will need to have the corresponding SPSS or SAS module installed. For these tutorials, we will use SPSS, but the interface is the same for SAS users. But first, some background. International large-scale assessments have been around since the mid-1900s. These are surveys of what students know and can do in subjects such as mathematics, the sciences, reading, and civic education. They're surveys in the sense that they rely on samples of students who are administered tests, followed by questions about their everyday life as it relates to their schooling. Teachers, school principals, and sometimes parents are also asked to respond to questions related to the classes and schools the students attend. To maximize the amount of information gathered and minimize the burden on the participating countries and individuals, these studies use complex sample and assessment designs. In brief, individuals from the population are selected according to a sample design, and in turn, these individuals are given a fraction of the assessment items according to an assessment design. This is what is known as multiple matrix sampling design. As a consequence, the databases generated by these assessments are rather large and in addition need to be analyzed taking these design features into consideration. The magnitude of the information collected sometimes requires the partition of the data by country and source. The data are distributed in separate files for teachers, principals, and students of each participating country. These different data files need to be properly merged and combined. Because of the nature of the data collection design, we need to take the sample and assessment designs into consideration. This means use of sampling weights, use corresponding replication methods for estimating sampling variance, use of plausible values, estimate measurement variance, and combine the error terms for use in significance testing. Ignoring these design features leads to biased results or uncertain value to users of the information. The technical documentation of each study has details of the specific procedures to be applied. The IDB Analyzer is a tool that allows you to combine files from different countries and sources into a single analysis file and conduct analysis taking into account the sample and assessment designs. It works by reading the data files stored in your local computer and then it uses SAS or SPSS as a data manipulation and computation engine for the analysis. Let's now take a look at the download and installation instructions. To install the IEA's IDB Analyzer, you will need to download a copy from the IEA's website. Before downloading and installing it, you will need to accept the licensing agreement. Once the installation process is completed, you're ready to use the IDB Analyzer. Please note that when updates are published, you will be automatically notified upon starting the application. Once you have installed the application, you can start it by either double-clicking on the icon that appears on your computer desktop or by searching for the IDB Analyzer icon in your Start menu. 
when the application starts, you will have four choices, Merge Module, Analysis Module, Help, and Exit. Let's take a look how this will happen on your screen. To download a copy of the IDB Analyzer, open your browser, then select www.iea.nl slash data. Click on the IDB Analyzer link. If this is your first time accessing the IDB Analyzer, you will need to register. Otherwise, enter your username and your password. And then click on the link for the IDB Analyzer. Once it's downloaded, run the installation. Read and agree to the licensing agreement. Install the IDB analyzer in the default directory. and close the installation window. Once the IDB analyzer is installed, you will find an icon on your desktop, or, and you can also find a, an option to start the IDB analyzer from the IEA folder in your start menu. When you start the IDB analyzer, you'll have first the option to select between SAS and SPSS, and you will have then the options for the merge module, the analysis module, the help, manual, or exit. Using the merge module of the IDB analyzer. The merge module is used to combine data files from different countries, merge files from different respondents, such as students, school, principals, teachers, etc., select subsets of variables to create a smaller and more manageable data set. The merge module is only designed to combine data from the same assessment year. To combine data across two or more years, please refer to the appendix of the help manual. The merge module is currently available to use with data from all IEA studies and databases and OECD studies such as TALIS and PIAC. Separate instructional tutorials will be made available for each of the IEA studies that use the merge module. Please check the help manual for additions to the list of studies above. After you create an analysis file using the merge module, you'll be able to recode or collapse variables, create indices, create selection of subgroup variables, add data from other surveys, and add data from different years. When adding variables to the file, there's no naming convention for the new variables. To combine data the IDB analyzer does not have the capability of merging data from across years. This is by design as the studies tend to change the naming convention between years and proper cataloging of these changes is necessary. You can combine data from across years by either using the corresponding menu options in SPSS or using SAS or SPSS syntax to append the files. Regardless of the method you use to append the files from different years, you will need to properly map the variables between years prior to appending them. Using the analysis module of the IDB analyzer. The analysis module provides the capability of conducting analysis that take into account the sample and assessment design of the corresponding study. It can be used to analyze data from studies regardless of whether they have been pre-processed with the merge module. For a list of all studies that the analysis module can handle, please refer to the help manual. The following analysis can be performed with the analysis module. Percentages and means, where you compute percentages, means, design effects, and standard deviations for the selected variables. Percentages only, where you compute percentages by defined subgroups. Linear regression, where you compute linear regression statistics for selected variables predicting a dependent variable. It also has the capability to dummy or effect code categorical variables and include these in the regression equation. 
you can conduct logistic regression where you compute regression statistics for selected variables predicting a dependent dichotomous variable. You have the capability of contrast coding categorical variables and including them in the logistic regression equation, as well as incorporating interaction terms. You can compute correlations between variables in the analysis file, and you can compute percentiles which are score points that separate a given proportion of the distribution of a variable. You can also compute benchmarks, which means that you compute percents of the population meeting a set of user-specified performance or achievement benchmarks. It computes these percentages in two modes, cumulative as the percent of the population at or above given points in the distribution, or discrete as the percent of the population within given points of the distribution. As an additional feature of the discrete option, you can also compute the mean of an analysis variable for those at a particular achievement level when the discrete option is selected. Now let's talk about a few generalities of the IDB analyzer. The analysis module always conducts and reports results by country. The term country is used to refer to a reporting jurisdiction. These include countries per se, states, provinces, benchmarking participants, partner countries. Each study has adopted its own convention for naming and identifying a country, but usually these are identified by a unique value in a variable called ID country, CNT, or country ID. In addition to reporting by country, the analysis module can conduct analysis by additional subgroups, but always within country. You will notice in the output the table average. The table average is the average of the countries included in the table by the selected classification variable. When computing the table average, each country contributes equally, regardless of sample or population size. When you select Start SPSS, the IEA's IDB analyzer creates an SPSS syntax and opens it in the SPSS syntax window. The SPSS syntax and all related output files will use the same name you selected and will be placed in the directory you specified. When running an analysis, SPSS will write out the output in the following formats, Excel, SPSS dataset, and SPSS output file. For any analysis, you will be able to specify if plausible values will be used, whether to include missing values for your classification or grouping variables, the number of decimals to use to display your results. Information that is not applicable to the analysis selection will appear grayed out or will not be visible on the interface. The IDB analyzer is configured to work with the data from many international large-scale assessments. In particular, it is programmed to create code that uses the corresponding country classification variable, sampling weights, replication method, and number of plausible values for the analysis. While the default variables and values can be changed in the syntax, we suggest not modifying these values unless you're an expert, user, and have good reasons for making these changes. Analysis not included in the IDB analyzer are also possible with the data. But when doing so, remember the principles. Always use the sample weights. Calculate the sampling uncertainty by repeating according to the sample design using the replicate weights and summarize according to the corresponding formulas. Calculate the measurement uncertainty by repeating the analysis once with each plausible value, then combining the results according to the formula. Never combine or average plausible values before your analysis, and never use just one of the plausible values and ignore the measurement variance. In the end, you'll need to combine the sampling and measurement variance to obtain your standard error. This concludes the introduction to the IDB analyzer. Please note that the following tutorials will be available using the merge module with TIMS, PEARLS, and ICCS data, and using the analysis module to compute percentages and means, correlations, linear regression, logistic regression, percentiles, and conducting analysis using benchmarks of achievement. Thank you for taking the time to view this tutorial. For more information on using the IDB analyzer, please view our other online tutorials or refer to the help manual of the IDB analyzer.